Hello everybody, Game Bros here, and welcome to our very first episode of Forza Horizon 5. And today, we are gonna- oh, let me go this guy's way. There we go. Um, we are gonna be, uh, driving, modifying, and customizing, uh, if we can, this 1961 Jaguar E-Type, this absolute icon of British engineering. Um, this thing has a 3.8 liter straight six engine in the front. It's rear wheel drive. And let's just, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna stop talking so that we can hear what this sounds like. Yep, so that is nearly 300 horsepower, almost, it's 265 uh, that you're hearing. So anyway, so to start this off, we're gonna do some driving. We are going to find ourselves a road race to do. And yeah, we're gonna do that, okay, we can do that circuit up here. So give me a second, just gotta set a waypoint. Okay, here we go. So we are going to, where is it? Here it is, okay. So yeah, so the plan is we're gonna drive it, see how see and what it's well, like. When it is safe to do so. Um, then we're gonna take it to the Horizon Festival. Uh, we're gonna upgrade and tune it, and then we're gonna drive it again and see what it's like. So yeah, I'm excited to see what it's like. Um, this car in Forza Horizon 4 was a barn find. Yeah, it was a barn find in Forza Horizon 4. Um, so yeah, it was worth a lot, but in this game, it's just a regular car that you can buy from the auto show. Or if you want to, you can do the trial and get it that way. Um, I recommend you buy it, it's a lot easier. The trial is the trial is no joke at all. Let's take a look at the interior. So, yeah, I mean, it sounds nice. This is definitely a nice drive. You can tell that it's sort of race car oriented, like look at all the flicks and switches and everything. Because fun fact, this car it's basically the engine, this was the engine from the D-Type, and the D-Type was a very successful race car that Jaguar was using. So they sort of, you know, they, they got a guy to design a car, and this was, a, he designed, um, no thank you, no, no thank you, I don't want to hear that, okay. But, um, so basically he was an aerodynamicist, and he designed the shape of this car. And when they unveiled this car in 1961 at the Geneva Auto Show, it was so successful that Jaguar got more orders than they could handle. Like, it basically kind of sold out. And so today, it's just, it will forever be known as a, a masterpiece of British engineering. So, and you know, for as someone who lives in the United States, you don't see a lot of Jaguars at all, ever. <laughs> Um, yeah, you don't see every was. And if I sound really excited, it's because I am really excited, because this is my first official... I wanted to do this with Forza Horizon 4, but I never, I was never able to get, get it really started. So my hope is that I'll be able to do this with Forza Horizon 5. Um, just full disclaimer, if you hear, uh, any, uh, you know, any, like, fan noises, that's gonna be one of two things. It's either gonna be my laptop, or, or, it's gonna be my Xbox One X. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I am playing Horizon 5. I'm playing Horizon 5 on the Xbox One X. Now, when they released Forza Horizon 5, they said, hey, you know, you can get it on on Xbox One and Xbox One S and X if you want, but it's better if you have Xbox and an Xbox Series S or X. So I think eventually, which just shows you that this is a truly next gen game because while well, it's while well, my Xbox can do it, it sort of struggles to keep up. Like the loading times are so long on this. Um, and, and with that said, you might wonder, well, okay, why don't you have it on PC? Well, I don't have it on PC because I'm using, using my PC to record and that would be a bunch of hassle to that I just don't want to deal with. So, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just, I'm just so excited. So, yeah, but anyway, yeah, this thing was a barn find of Forza Horizon 4, so um, I can't remember what, I can't remember what the, I 
can't even remember what the uh, what the like the max horsepower was. I mean, I built it in four thousand four, and then I never used it ever again. So, yeah, yeah, I can't I can't remember. So anyway, let's get a start. Let's see how we do. No, I do have the difficulty on highly skilled. I have it on highly skilled. So, you know, it's, I mean, here's the funny thing. Is it like a thousand horsepower? No, but I would not mind. Having an E-Type, okay? If I had an E-Type in my garage, oh, I'd be, I'd be one happy American, okay? Because this, this is not just something you see going down the road, okay? It, it, it isn't, okay? It's not like a Mustang or a Camaro, because Mustangs and Camaros, Corvettes, those things, they're common. Is that a Bentley? Is that a Bentley? Bruh, get your Bentley out of here. You too big and heavy to race. Okay? <laughs> um, yeah, the Bentley is... I remember getting that thing before I was Forza Horizon um, 4. But, um, yeah, so this is the, my second Horizon game. I have not had a... Um, my first Horizon game was Forza Horizon 4. Absolutely fell in love with it. Um, and here we are playing Forza Horizon 5. And Forza Horizon 5 is my first real game that I was... I've been there for every second. As in, I've been there for every rumor. I mean, I remember hearing rumors that... The game was gonna be in. Um, the game was gonna be in Japan. Everyone was like, "Can it please may it be in Japan? Please may it be in Japan." Um, and I even heard a rumor. And here's the thing: wherever the game was gonna be, I was gonna pretty much be happy with it. Now, would I have been very happy for it to be in Japan? Yes, I would. But I'm not sad that it's in Mexico. I'm not sad at all. In fact, I love the environment. I love that you have mountain. You have a mountain. Well, a volcano is more. It's a better term. You have deserts. You have forests. You have jungles. Um. Yeah, I, I love all of them. But anyway, um, I even heard a rumor. I heard a rumor that this game was gonna take place in California. Yeah, I heard a rumor that it was going to take place in California. Okay, come on. Catch up on... What is that? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what it is. Can I catch... I'm drafting. But I'm not gaining. They're getting away. I, I don't want to be beat by another E-Type. Is that another E-Type up there? That is another E-Type up there. It is another E-Type. Get back here. Get back. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. I don't think. I, th I think I'm pretty much stuck here. I don't see myself. I don't see myself getting anywhere in the foreseeable. Oh wait. No. Never mind. Take it back. Hey. That's dirty, Mike. Yeah, but you. But you can tell that this thing is rear-wheel drive because it's it's really difficult trying to keep the rear end in check, trying to get it to not drift. So. The funny thing is, what I love about Forza is all the different builds you can do. Like, you can do a, oh no, you can do a uh, rally build, you can do a road racing build, you can do a lifting build. Oh, come on. Come on. You braked! He braked! Ha <laughs> ha! He braked! <laughs> That's why I got second, because he hit the brakes. Okay, I lost to the Aston Martin. But you know what? I'll take that. I don't. I don't mind losing to. I don't mind losing to that. I don't mind losing that some money. I don't mind losing to it all. But um, yeah. Anyway, so what I'm very happy about with this game is that they have a streamer mode. So hopefully, I'm just trying it out. Um, hopefully, this video doesn't get taken down um, because the streamer mode is, is, I mean, supposedly full, of, full of you know music that you know won't be copyrighted. Yeah, I'm not upset at all in the slightest that I lost. To the DB5, okay, not not set at all. <sighs> okay, so got 125,000. That is nice. So yeah, so the loading times are a lot longer than I would like them to be, for sure. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, I've, I've always felt kind of bad because you know I haven't made any videos for like months. I tried doing a video on this on my last laptop. Uh, cause I, yeah, cause news, I got a new laptop, I got an Acer Nitro 5 now, uh, cause my MSI was just 
it just dissolved into nothing. I had that thing for like nine months and then it just died. Um, yeah. So I tried recording it on the MSI because I had to reset it and everything. And it still didn't fix it. It just crashed in the middle of recording. And that was that was the end of that. So yeah, then I just uh, then I just waited till I got a new laptop, aka this one. And so far, smooth sailing. Now, if only I could get an Xbox Series S. All right. So, the next step of our plan. Now, the next step step of our plan is because I'm not a huge fast travel guy. We're gonna drive all the way to the Horizon Apex Outpost. You know, get some driving time in this thing. See what it can really do. And um, yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoyed the drive. I mean, I might not talk that much about the drive because we do have 13.7 miles, but. You know, it is what it is. Turn left. Yeah, that, I meant to do that. <laughs> I meant to do that. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. But uh, that was a cool burnout, though. Um, yeah, this thing was... Um, what I love about this game... What I love about this game... Is that during the winter season... During winter... There's only snow at the top of the volcano. Yeah. That's it. There's no snow anywhere else because I think everyone hate everyone of us for absolutely hated the fact that when you were driving in winter, it was just horrible because there was snow everywhere. Um, it was, and, and, then, and then I'm telling you, playground playground games had this going had this joke that they'd always love to play on us Forza Horizon Four players, and you know what it was? It was that they would always drop a supercar or a hypercar in the middle of winter. They dropped the Koenigsegg Yesco in winter. Oh man, almost hit that pedestrian. Yeah, they dropped it in the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. The middle of winter. And guess what the car will drive? How well do you think a rear wheel drive car with like, you know, above, with anything above 500 horsepower, max 1500, is gonna do in the winter! There we go. Ah, oh, that is a beautiful interior. Come on. Alright. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely just... But, it, see, you, but I'm gonna say, from the race that we just did, I will say this was actually a very nice drive. Uh, there, okay. It was actually a very nice drive, this, this, this car. It actually handled pretty well. Um, you know, and, and you know, the, the rear end sliding out, I mean, that's to be expected. Because it is a rear wheel drive car and everything. So, yeah, so I don't, now here's the thing. I don't necessarily mind if you skip this part of the video, because we're just going to go to the outpost and modify this thing. Um, we're also going to tune it. So the parts you might want to be there for, are the initial driving part, the, t the upgrading part, and the final driving part. So, where I will give my final thoughts on this car. So, and I have to say, out of all the racing games I've played, I've played a lot of racing games over the past couple years. My favorite upgrade system is this. I love the upgrade system in Forza. Forza has, I mean, it's practically perfection. Really, it is. Practically, it's perfection. Here's the main festival. Coming through the main festival. Oh, and I love the fact that you can rev the engine inside the uh, in the app house. That is a stroke of pure genius. That is beautiful. So yeah. In so, yards. That is that is that is great. And then I love the fact that you can certain parts actually make differences in engine sound. Which is also good. You know what else I love about this game? The highway. The highway is so straight. I mean, you. There has not been a single time I have not been able to get to my top speed on this highway. Like every single time. So theoretically, the speedometer on this thing goes to 160. So I'm gonna be pretty upset if I can't get to 160. You know. Even if it does have 260 horsepower. Come on, let's get to 130. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. 
I don't think we're going anywhere. Yeah, but this thing has a four-speed manual, I think it is. Like, I think it's a manual. I'm pretty sure it's a manual. Pretty sure it's a manual. But yeah, that is... That's a nice interior. Yeah, I think we're maxing out here. We might get to 140. Yep, we're to get to 140. Oh, and I just got passed by a Ford Escort. Wow, feels so bad. But this thing, I'm pretty sure this thing will be, be pretty, I mean, I'm thinking it will handle pretty good once we, you know, put a, I mean, like, okay, look at the front hood. Look at the space under that hood, man. Look at the space. There is tons of space in this thing. Tons of space for, for, for big engines, okay? So, you know, I want some horsepower, man. Yeah, I'm all, one thing you guys should know about me, I'm all about the horsepower. Top speed and horsepower. But the acceleration is nice, too. That is nice, too. Okay. And uh, this is where we hit the brakes. Oh. Oh, oh. Excuse me. So I'm going to weed the tide. Just a little bit. Just a wee little bit. Oh, no. Oh, did you see that? Did you see how I slid between that Bronco? I think it was a Bronco and that bus? That could have been a horribly... Don't expect anything from the drift. Don't expect anything from the drift, okay? Because I can't, I can't drift. I cannot drift in this game. But that was a pretty nice drift, I will admit. I can't drift. I can't drift. I don't have the power. I cannot drift in this game. Or any Forza game. Now, if you put me in, in, in Need for Speed Rivals or, you know, a Need for Speed game, I can drift for days. At the but, um, the in this exit. game, nah. Can't drift. Can't drift at all. Can't do it. Okay. Get past the, the truck. And actually, I for one, I'm happy. Now, I'm not opposed to driving on this side of the road. Not opposed to that. But, oh, shoot. <laughs> um, but I am happy to be driving on this side of the road again. Very much happy, dude. So, so happy. So. Okay. We're getting close, I think. We're 2.4 miles. 2.4 miles. Okay. Turn left. Uh, there it is. Now this next part, um, I will not enjoy. I don't enjoy this next part. But you're gonna find out why. Because I don't want. This is not a dirt car, but we're gonna drive it on the dirt because this is the quickest possible route for this car. Yeah. Not, not a fan of the dirt, but, you know, we gotta get where we need to go, bro. I mean, I'm not wanting to get the E-Type e dirty, but you know, it is what it is. But there's the one in the Ford Raptor, nice. They just sit in there, in the pause menu. Yeah, as, as you can see, I finally got my hands on, um, finally got my hands on the... Uh, on Xbox Game Pass, so that's why, as you can see, I'm in Horizon, um, I'm, I'm like, you know, Horizon online, you know, I'm online. And what I love, see, what I love that Forza has done is that they give you an option. Now, I can either choose to be offline, where there's just a bunch of bot driver tires driving around, or I can choose to be online where there's actual people um, on my sir on this server, you know, driving around, and that is something we types will take for granted because some don't do that. Yeah, some don't do that. Some just, uh, you know, some don't do that at all. So like, like games like Need for Speed 2015, um, Need for Speed Rivals, The Crew, The Crew 2, 
They don't give you that option. It's just 100% online all the time. Turn left. Okay, here we go. So, we got ourselves to the Horizon Apex Outpost. You have arrived at your destination. I meant to do that. And we are gonna upgrade and tune this bad boy. Mm hmm. Okay, so. Here we go. So, I always do like. So, this is a naturally aspirated 3.8 liter straight six. So, we're gonna turbocharge it. So, that gives us 53 horsepower. Back in the day, they used carburetors. They don't do that anymore, though. No, no I don't want engine block. I want exhaust. And that, I forgot the cam, went past the cam shafts. Now we do the engine block. Okay, so 580 horsepower. So, went from a 3.8 um, straight six to a turbocharged four liter straight six. So, see, the funny thing is, a turbo straight six is not, I mean, I, I guess I'm just used to like the GTR sound in straight sixes, I guess, because that, yeah. Anyway, so, so that's 180 horsepower. So, we have this, which I know gives us 761 horsepower. We have this, which gives us 1,017. We have that, which, ooh, which gives us 1,217. And we have this, <laughs> which gives us 1,270. So, because I'm a power addict, we're going to put in this. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is the 2JZ. And it's crazy because the 2JZ finds its way everywhere in this game. I mean, it's been, I'm, it, 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 it just, not just JDM cars. I mean, we're talking all sorts of cars. So yeah, you know, have you ever heard of a 2JZ powered F, you know, E-Type? <laughs> okay. Um, so racing brakes, race uh, suspension, anti-roll bars. You're, so I don't do class builds. I do racing builds. I only do class builds for uh, seasonal events and everything. Um, when I you know, for like one of these videos when I'm building a car, I do these sort of builds. Like I'm as in maxing out, so I'm trying to max this baby out for racing. So anyway, so put a roll cage. Now uh, we're gonna do all wheel drive. Get it immediately up to S1 class. Do the 10 speed race transmission because I want to. Race drive line, race differential. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Max race tires. It's now S2 class. Let's see 245s. Um, 215, 295, okay. 215, okay, let's do 215s. So we're gonna do 215s on the E-Type. Um, uh, let's see here, I'll make the rims just a bit larger. And then, now let's see, customization, not expecting much at all. Oh. Okay, so you can move front bumper, which I'm gonna do that. I like that. Okay. We have our rear bumper, which does that and that. So I'll do that. And then we just have the. Why? Why would I put that on my E type? Tell me. Someone tell me why I would put this on my E type. Someone. Please tell me why I would do that. No, thank you. God, no. Okay. So now here comes the really boring but necessary part. Tuning. We have to tune our car. Yep, so C Class uh, it weighed 2,900 pounds and had 265 horsepower. Now it's S2 Class or high, Ultra High Performance Class with over 1,200 horsepower and weighing just above 2,500 pounds. So now here comes my fun part the tuning. 
I sort of enjoyed the tuning. Sort of. Sort of. It can be kind of tiring, but I sort of enjoy it in a weird way. So, as soon as it saves, custom tuning. Now, please, if you don't want to see how I tune my cars, please feel free to skip this part of the video and go ahead to where I paint the car or get a paint job and actually take the car out and race and everything like that. That is totally fine because if I were you, I probably tuned, I would probably skip past this too. So this is where I grab my phone and we do some math because math is involved. But this is the easiest type of tuning because the car is completely balanced. So the weight in the rear and in the front are completely are the same. So that makes my job very, 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 very easy. Oh, whoops. Okay, 798.1. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I just think it's horrible the fact that, you know, like we can't have, because I like the like the Horizon stations and everything, but like I can't have them in my videos because copyrights, don't you just love copyrights? We love copyrights, don't we? We love them. They're great. They're awesome. All right, and then, oh, wait, no, no. Go bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. There we go. Okay, so then we're gonna lower it as much as possible. And then for the damping, bring up the 10.5 and bring it down to 10.5. And then, okay, bring it to 6.3 and that to 6.3. And then brake, and we have the same. Now, I don't do the differential, so. Uh, I tune the brakes, damping, springs, into roll bars. Oh, with the lime, I just take off the camber and then gear it. I don't tune tires, aero, and differential. So, uh, let's see here. So, so we're currently at a top speed of 224.5 miles an hour. So, let's see what we can pull out of this bad boy. 24.5. Alright, two sixty six point five, that's more like it. Two sixty six point five. Okay. Yeah, so two sixty six point five. So let's do so now it is where we fine tune it. Point seven. Point nine. Is it the two sixty seven? 267, there we go. Okay, we got 267. Come on, 267.2. Okay, so we're going to leave it right there. So that's minus 16, I believe. So let's bring that down to 66. And so now that we've done the 10th, we got it, or the quote unquote final gear. We gotta, you know, now relatively tune all of these gears to match it so that the car is balanced. All right. Okay, 15. Bring that down to 40. Bring that down to 70. Um, Thirteen. Okay. Second gear. 77. And then we're going to leave this at 401. Okay, there we go. So apply and save setup. 
Yeah, I've done quite a few tunes. Okay, so this is going to be a road uh, racing uh, S2 tune. Now, if now after driving this, and you, uh, if you want to download this tune, then you know where to find it. <laughs> Plus, I like when people download my tunes. I like when people download my tunes. Okay, so this is de definitely for top speed, um, and I'm gonna say good all around. I mean, I hope it's good all around. I mean, I did a tune on a, a Ferrari 575M. And that was not good all around. Oh, God. Okay. So now the final um, thing we're going to do is this. So we're going to see if we can find a nice uh, paint job for this thing. Uh, uh, no. I mean, we could, but no. Shaguar. <laughs> um... Man, there's not a whole... I mean, there's not... Uh... I guess... Let's... We could do this one. We could do this one. Right here. It's cool to have, like, a British racing green on on, on any type. Since the, in, since it, the, the engine that was in it was descended from the D-type, so... Okay, so then we'll do that, and then we'll take this bad boy out for a drive and see how it does. Too dizzy, baby. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's take a listen to it. Not bad at all. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do according to rivals. This is how I this is how I decide the race. So our next race is gonna be this one, the Arch of Mulege circuit. Arch of Mulege. Mulege. And this time, it shouldn't take nearly as long, because... Turn around, and it's safe to do so. In 100 yards, we have, like, an additional 1,000 horsepower. Okay, not too not drifty at all, so that looks good. Turn left. Fortunately, that's like a thing on the dirt again. Turn right. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Turn right. Yeah, these tires were made for this. They were made for it. So the sooner we get out of dirt, the better. Yeah, so don't, just know, don't expect to see any drifting builds or tunes from me. Um, not regularly, because that's just not my style. Like I said, I'm a horrible drifter, so... Yeah, look. I always forget that influence port. Always. Someone's in the Ford Bronco. I'm sorry, E-Type fans. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. People probably mad at me that I put a 2JZ in an E-Type. There we go. There we go. Just camp. <laughs> oh no. Involuntary drift. I'm just sad that the that the uh, super the 2JZ like the only 2JZ in the game that actually has the 600 horsepower 
is the one that's you know the stock engine from stock engine from the Supra. Any other two JZ that you swap in can only have like 1200 horsepower. Good in the tunnels too. Oh my god, that was a near miss right there. That was a near miss if I ever saw one. And I just lost everything. Oh, you know what I gotta do? I always forget. I always forget. Um, we got to do this. Thank you. I always do like the cheapest perks on every car. Yeah, I drive. So. Well, see, this reminds me of the Bay Bridge a little bit, actually. But yeah, this is a nice looking bridge, Mike. Nice looking bridge. So, okay. That went well. I mean, look at that view. I mean, the map is just. It's beautiful. It's you know, I thought that tree wasn't there for some reason. Yeah, so you probably notice now I have my damage and wear on none. Because I just don't want to damage up my beautiful cars, man. I just don't want to damage my cars. Your Yeah, so this car is a rare classic. It is a rare classic indeed. It is a rare classic. See how well it's so the last time we last time we did a race in this thing stock we came in second place let's see how we do this time
might get out of my way. Come on. Cash up with the Lambo. It's another E type. That's the guy that won last time. bit too tight for it to move it. Did you want Got it. it took it took it took me three laps, but I got it. I got first. not talking much, I just um, concentrated. Oh, oh. You ain't catching me. Boom! Did it like a British racing champion. Which, I'm not a British racing champion because I'm not a champion. I'm, I'm not a, I'm, well, I do race, I don't do race in your life. And I'm not British, so. There you go. So I'd say that was very successful. A little bit iffy at first, but um, it can catch up nicely. It can draft nicely. Handles pretty nicely. I say we got ourselves a winner here. Alright, so that is that everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I give this thing an A. I give this thing an A. Yeah, I give this thing an A. I give, I, I'll give it an A minus because you know the handling is, is it could be it could be a little bit better, probably could be a little better with some tuning, but I mean I say it's pretty good. I mean that was pretty that was some pretty that was some pretty good handling right there. Um yeah, I mean I think it's a good, decent, I don't care, okay? Go away. Um, I think it's a pretty, decent car. Why am I going with this over there? I don't know. Um, I think it's a pretty decent car. I had fun, I hope you had fun. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Um, if you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe, because I will continue uploading videos like this, hopefully. Um, hopefully. Um, 
I also want to say thank you to like the three or four people that subscribe to my channel in my absence. So with that said, everybody, hope you had a nice day. Game Bros out. Yards.